Hello, hello, hello. Um, so I'm packing her um, diapers right now, and I thought I would show you how to, or I thought I'd do a, uh, a stuffing cloth diapers video. So right now I have half of her cloth diapers done, and I'm pack I'm doing the rest of these. So these are the shells, basically, the pocket diapers, and I'm going to show you how. I do them. Now these are my thicker um, cloth, the inserts, these are my thicker ones. And then I have some thin ones um, that I will add to the thick ones. Um, I don't like to do two, two thick ones on top of each other because it's too big and then she looks all... Where? Go get it, baby. So right now I have just the pocket diaper. This one's, I think, Alva or something. Go get it. Go get it. Um, and I'll get just a medium. I mean, they're, they're, they're pretty thick to me. But I have the really thin ones. The thin ones are baby bum. And I just put them on top of each other like that. And then the opening. And I stick that right in there so shove it in i hold it the whole time so my hands don't let go of it until the very end then i pinch it to hold it I pull it down and then i kind of flatten it as i go get out go back in open it and i'll stick my hand back in and kind of flatten it then go back through so i know it's pretty flat and then i fold it down and i button so there's one. I have them kind of stuck in there. This one's a little bit bigger opening here. So I'll show you that one. And once again, I will double pad these. Um, some of them are pretty thick where I don't have to double pad, but pretty much all of them I like to put a thin layer in there. Just in case. That one. Since the opening's a little bit bigger, it's easier for me to kind of stick my hand in and get it flat. Shut it. There it goes. And then with these, they're just one button on each side. So we'll, these are the bum genius, I think. There you go. Here's another. And then here I'll do a different one. They're all kind of they're all pocketed ones. So here's another pocket one. Um, I'll do, like, the ones I get from the grocery store, the Ger Gerber, whatever brand, that look like this. These are actually supposed to be thick cloths, I think. Um, these are actually my number one favorite inserts I've ever used. So what I do is, it's already thick right here, so I just fold these back. And then I barely kind of turn it a little bit, like, because it's so long. Um, so I just barely fold it, and then I put the quilted part at the top. So I hold it once again until I get to the very back here, and then I pinch that to hold it. And then hold it. No, 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 no. Go play with something else. And then I will go back in, kind of flatten it out a little bit. See, I fold it because it's like right at the edge. So it's folded in there. So it's kind of, these are, and I don't have to use another um, pad for those. So the Gerber ones are probably my number one favorite. I got a, probably two packs of them. And um, they're probably my other little, I probably actually, I used some of them already. Yeah, and they're the easiest, fastest to dry and get through. So, okay, let me do another one here. And I honestly, I don't know how other people don't do it. Some people actually don't pre-stuff their diapers before they put it on. Oh, Ira. I have to. It's so much easier for me to just grab one and go. I don't have to grab the pads and women. I know baby, daddy's coming back with the food. 
We always eat out on Sunday, and today is Sunday. We don't eat out throughout the week. I cook, so Sunday's my only day to get caught up on laundry, and I'm not cooking. She keeps saying hungry. Um, so I double-packed a little stuff to this. Once again, I just grab it, shove it in. So I do this. I do the diapers every other day. So I usually go two days. I don't go longer than that because it's disgusting. It stinks up your house. I know that I have the um, bags that you can put them in, but they're not all smell proof. So anyway, so that's what I do um, in here. This slides under her bed. She has about three of these, not filled with diapers, just one with toys, one with some blankets, but this one is our um, diaper cloth. And I only have these two in there. Um, her wipes are sitting on top of her bed, so we use water wipes. But this is the diaper rush cream. Like if she really has red, we use the zinc one. Um, just a little bit of rash, tiny little rash, little red. We do the coconut balm. So, and it's multi-purpose. You can actually put it under their chin. Um, lips, face, hands, you know, wherever. So I keep that in there, just like slid on the side there. But I'm about to finish and I was just going to show you that's how I did it.